Hey guys, this is Mark. It's a beautiful Tuesday. It's about 40 degrees out. I'm getting ready to go for a mountain bike ride with my buddy. I had a few thoughts on the trail I wanted to share with you. On my YouTube channel, we're going to be starting a series on getting out of debt. And, um, you know, a lot of people have debt. A lot of people don't understand the principles behind money and getting out of debt and why should I get out of debt so I wanted to start teaching on this because I've been teaching it a while but this YouTube channel is a new thing for me and we're pretty excited about it because of the amount of people that we could really help um, so getting out of debt a lot of people have tried getting out of debt by working harder working extra hours or for many years I worked evenings and weekends to try and get out of debt but it wasn't really until I started getting some good teaching from other people and reading books on how to get out of debt that I was really able to make a significant impact in my finances. So what I want to talk about is you getting out of debt. Have you ever read a book about debt and how to get out of debt like a book by Dave Ramsey? I think it's called Financial Peace or something like that. It's a good book. I read that and uh, about 20 some years ago and my wife and I have been pretty much debt free for a long time except our mortgage and uh, not that we're perfect in our finances but the point is it creates uh, opportunities for you so I want to talk about that I'm gonna go for a little bike ride with my friend here I got my new GoPro 8 on seat new, where is it oh there we go new GoPro yeah so we're gonna take some videos and have some fun with this we're gonna learn how to go splash into snow and stuff anyway I'll I'll post a little bit here later but more about this issue of getting out of debt so this is Mark with Freedom Hunter Pro and looking forward to talking to you soon. Definitely a little slippery on that corner. So where was I? So you've made a decision. You're going to read a book on how to get out of debt, but you got to make some decisions. And we're going to talk a little bit more in, in later lessons that I'm going to teach. Monday is going to be our day of how to get out of debt and how to get creative in your financing so you can start living your best life now. You got to learn how to be a freedom hunter. You got to learn how to go after what you want. And if you want to get out of debt, you want to get that monkey off your back, man, you got to go after it become a freedom hunter. You need the freedom in your life to have no debt and it's a great place to be and I'm looking forward to helping a lot of people and I you know I want to hear some people's comments too. What's your experience with it and what's worked for you and I'm going to talk about a couple of the books and I'm going to dive in deeper maybe on some of the books that I've read and I've, I've taught a little bit on and and uh, it can be a fun journey. It's a little painful when you first get started, just like anything else. I've been just starting to ride my mountain bike again, and it's getting close on spring. Well, it's February, but anyway, it hurts. My legs are hurting. My lungs are hurting. But I want the results of getting in shape.
just got done going out and playing a little bit in the mud. Might have a little bit of mud in my face. Driving down the road looking at this beautiful scenery behind me. Pikes Peak, it's awesome. Just wanted to share another thought, what I was sharing on the trail there. It's talking about getting out of debt. And what does that mean to be getting out of debt? What good's that gonna do for you? Maybe this isn't the best place. I stopped right on the side of the road, but man, it was just such a great view. I thought, that's awesome. That's a big old mountain over there. Anyway, <laughs> getting out of debt. Have you ever been out of debt? I mean, I know some of you young people out there, you never had debt, but have you ever gotten in debt and then gotten out of debt and you felt that freedom before? Man, it is a good feeling when you get out of debt. So I want to encourage you to get out of debt because I know a lot of people are, 20 years ago, I was like, there's no way. My wife just told me, you know, when we got married 25 years ago, you said you would never have a paid in car. And she laughed because we haven't had to pay for a car or go in the debt, excuse me, with a car. We've been able to pay cash for our cars for the last uh, maybe 15 years. And not like we're buying ex super expensive cars, but you know, just like my, my truck here behind me, that, that little thing, you know? So when you get to the point where you're out of debt and you got more cash coming in than going out, the freedom that you have to make quality decisions is good. And here's the thing about when you, when you're not in debt and you have freedom of money, more coming in and you have some laying around, you don't know what to do with it. I got a great idea for you. Why don't you give some away? Find somebody that's worse off than you and give some to somebody who's in a worse situation than you. You want to talk about starting to live the blessed life now? When you start understanding that it's not just about you, but money is a tool and you could help bless other people with the extra that you have. I mean, personally, my wife and I, we try to give away 10% every month, sometimes less, sometimes more. But the point is, every time you step into that position of being able to bless other people with some money, the, the blessings come back on you. It is more blessed to give than to receive. And many times, and until you, I mean, ask other people, it, it's, it's real. And, and you are blessing other people too. So that's why you need to get out of debt so that you can start living the blessed life now. All right, well, I've blabbed enough. I will, uh, I'll post this with the other video and uh, we'll talk to you later. See ya. Have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine.